Hello. In earlier videos, we talked about solving equations that need addition, subtraction, multiplication. Guess what's up for today? Yeah, division. We're going to solve equations with one variable and division. A variable can be a letter that is substituted for a number. And our job is to figure out what that number is. So let's take an example. How about some number divided by 12 is going to give us 80. All right. <clears throat> this is another way of writing divided by. Just like in the other videos, if this means divided by, what's the opposite of dividing by? Multiplying, right? So remember what I said before? If I say hot, you say cold. If I say in, you say out. If I say up, you say down. If I say left, you say right. Same thing. The opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of division is multiplication. So we have to use that knowledge that we're keeping right here in the front to figure out what this is going to be. So if this says divide by 12, what we're going to do is multiply by 12. So we're going to say 12 times some number <clears throat> over 12 equals, and if we're multiplying times 12 over here, we have to do it on this side, equals 80 times 12, all right? So let's figure out what's going on. If there's, this is the same as writing 12 over one. Well, if there's a 12 here and a 12 here, we can cancel those babies out. And that'll leave us with a T on that side. Because our goal is to get the variable by itself on one side. So it has nobody hanging around with it. No numbers want to be friends. And then on this side, we have the 80 times 12. I don't know that off the top of my head, do you? Okay, well, use your calculators and I'll figure it out on the paper. <clears throat> ah, what am I doing? I need to pay attention to my signs. Two times zero is zero, two times eight is 16. One times zero is zero, one times eight is eight. Zero, six, nine, 960. Okay, is that what you got? All right, so we're good. How about this? Let's do a check. Um, I need some space here. Let me just do a little erasing. <clears throat> Let's throw in our 960 divided by 12 equals 80. Notice I just plugged in my number in place of the letter, substituting it in. We just threw it right in. Well, I, I, I need to figure it out. So let's do this. 960 divided by 12. Will 12 go into nine? Nope. Will it go into 96? Yeah, about how many times? Calculators, eight. Eight times two is 16, carry the one. Eight times one is eight, and one is not. Ha ha, score! Draw your line and subtract. Zero, zero, 80. Yes, we are right. Doesn't that feel good? I love the check part. That's the best. All right, let's do another. <clears throat> How about this? Some number, and I can use any type of variable I want. I could use any letter in the alphabet I wanted. And for some young kids, I even use animal shapes or flowers. It can be anything just to rep stand in the place of a number. So some number, uh, how about this? Some number divided by six will give us three. Let's stick with the low numbers for now. This is our variable, the N is our variable. Some number divided by six. What's the opposite of dividing? No, it's not addition. What's the opposite of dividing? Think for a minute. Put your thinking cap on here. Tie it under your chin. Better. Way better. 
Okay, some number divided by six is gonna give us three. The opposite of division is multiplication. So let's rewrite this. N over six, and then we're gonna time six. And you can always write the six over one, because you can always put any number over one as itself. It's gonna give us three. <clears throat> but we have to multiply this side by six as well. We can cross these two off because they're the same. And that leaves us with n, just one little old n. And what's three times six? 18. Let's do our check. Does 18 divided by six equal three? Calculators? Yes, thank you. Yes, it's correct. Three sixes are 18. So we're good. Solving division equations uses the same principles as the addition, subtraction, and multiplication. You have to isolate that variable, get it all on one side, all by itself. Doesn't want any other numbers or letters around it. It wants to be by itself. Let's try one more. How about C over four? will give us 300. <clears throat> hmm. Oh my, oh my, those are big numbers. What are we gonna do? Where's our variable? The letter C is the variable. What's this tell us to do? Divide, you wanna divide by four. The opposite of dividing is, yes, multiplying. So let's do it. C over four, and we're gonna multiply it times four. And we can always put that over one. We'll equal 300 times four, because if you do it on this side of the equal sign, you have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. All right, we can cross these off. That leaves us with C equals 300 times four. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. If you have a calculator, punch it in. Otherwise you have to work it out like I do. So 300 times four. Four times zero is zero. Four times zero is zero. Three times four is 12. 1,200. Hmm, does that seem right? Let's check. One thousand two hundred divided by four equals three hundred. Does that seem right? Calculators, anybody? Somebody has a calculator? It's right? Okay, I trust you. On your calculator, it says a thousand two hundred divided by four is three hundred. I think you are correct. Nice job. One more. How about mm, let me think I'm trying to come up with a good problem. Something that will stretch your brains. Okay, let's try this. Um, nine is some number divided by seven. Am I fooling you? Did I get you? No, I didn't write it wrong. You can flip it. Whatever's on one side equal sign can go to the other. They can go back and forth. So this is written perfectly fine. Let's do the same thing, but we do it on this side this time. So some number divided by seven. And because it's divided by, that means we're gonna do the opposite of it, which is multiply. So we're gonna multiply times seven and put it over one. We can cross off the two sevens and that leaves us with the N on this side and the nine on there. Hmm, let's check it. Nine equal, is it nine? Is that right? Is that right? It doesn't look right. 
Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Some number divided by seven. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do better this time. I'm, I'm not confused. Okay. I'm confused. Nine equals N divided by seven. I did something wrong. Did you catch it? I was so off. Let's try it again. You know, if you look at something and you instantly say to yourself, oh, that's not right. Just stop and erase it and start again. Let's try it. N divided by seven. That means we have to multiply by seven. So we put the seven over the one. This is the same thing we did. And we can cross off that. That leaves us with an N on this side, but I know what we did. I know what I did wrong. If we multiply this side times seven, we have to multiply this side times seven. So seven times nine is 63 would equal N. Boy, sometimes I make just silly calculation errors. Let's check it. Nine equals 63 divided by seven. I think calculators are in order. Do you have yours? Is it right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're good. We have got it. Go us. Next one. Are you getting more comfortable with flipping on either side of the equal sign? That the variables can be on either side and you have to isolate them? You isolate? Isolate means to be all by itself. You want to get it on one side of the equation all by itself. It doesn't, you don't want anything else with it. Just by itself. Let's try again. How about, let me come up with a good one. Some number over 50 will give us six, all right? Where's our variable? Is this a variable? No. Is this a variable? No. Is this a variable? Ah, oh, yes it is. So let's figure it out. What does this line tell us to do? Divide. When you're trying to solve an equation, you do the opposite of what it's telling you to do. So if this says divide by 50, we're going to multiply by 50. So n over 50 times 50 over 1. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm going to remember that if I multiply this side times 50, I have to multiply the other side times 50. So that we've done the both the same thing. 50 over here, 50 over here. Let's solve it. Cross these off. N equals six times 50. Um, let's go like this. Six times zero is zero. Six times five is 30, 300. 300. Let's do the double check. The best part of all is a check. All right. N over 50 equals six. We're going to substitute in for that variable. We figured out that the N was the same thing. It was equal to 300. So let's erase that and put that in there. Is 300 divided by 50 six? Yes, indeed it is. Yes, a star for us. Very good. So today we've been working on substituting for a variable. We've been working on solving division equations with one variable. We've done it with both sides of the equation and we're building flexibility in our brains. Nice job. See you next time.